and good morning people welcome back to the legend of dragoon have you noticed yet i did say chapter three is a whole lot different we've been in it i'd say less than an hour and a half <laughs> if that and the majority of what we've had is plot dump. Yeah, we've had a bit of a sort of extension from that, but that was only optional going to uh, face up against Kamoi and save them, uh, save Kamoi and Tio. Since uh, the majority of it, we've had plot. Shana collapsing because of the moon. Coming here, finding out about the Divine Tree, and also a little bit about how the, the Dragon Campaign in this library. I don't think we can actually interact with anything here. Oh, no, we can. There's a bit about the dragon uh, dragon uh, dragon dragon campaign, a bit about the dragoons themselves. I believe this one's the tree of life, or the divine tree. Um, a bit about the winglies. Saint Luvia. Um, yeah, we've seen that ship before. And relics from Neat. Yeah, it might be only a faint memory now. It was 18 years ago, and he was five at the time. Five or younger while living in Neat. But some things you slightly remember. Now, it's not much that survived. What, a statue, a little bit of the stained glass, a broken wheel, and some boxes. Only one other survivor. Second sacred sister of Mil Sassau, Sister Luana. Not someone that Dart knows. But then again, it was a village. You can't know everyone. It's, again, it's 18 years ago, Dart was five. But you can tell us a little bit about the black monster. Well, we need to know a little bit more. Go ahead. And the moon child. Yeah, sounds good. Yes, please. People who visit the church in Neat pray for their own happiness by looking at the stained glass. That shows the legend of the black monster and the moon child. Why did the gods create him? The black monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. A god that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald will be sent to Earth. The herald 
is known to us as the Moonchild. The legend says the Moonchild revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. The black monster abhors, hates, and despises it, and kills the Moonchild. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is a never-ending chaos. So, I was going to say something about the Black Monster, but, um, Rose is in neat. Why are you here? Anyways, yeah, about the Black Monster. Apparently, the Moonchild is the Herald, and the Black Monster just says no. <laughs> the God cannot return to Earth to revive. The other gods and let there be peace the black monster is just just there just getting in the way reasons I'm sure it has some Rose has been neat though nothing's changed why are you looking the way it's just a town a town that was destroyed for sure but it's just a town ah, and we get to be, uh, uh, be rose for a bit it's a very short bit but uh, all you need to do is move forward. Luana. Wasn't we just hearing about you? And you... You lost... It's been a while since the tragic day you lost your sight. I'm going to guess 18 years ago. But what your sight can't show you, you make up for it in many other ways. The first to notice Rose's approach. Yeah, a shrine to the tragedy.
so the black monster is looking for Princess Luvia who was on the ship and it just happened to be in the way yeah Luana was not uh, did lose her sight in this incident chance to eliminate the moon child comes only once every 108 years. This is that moment for the black monster. Changes everyone around it into an evangelist for the god. A servant to help prepare for the descendant of the god. not be satisfied until you kill every single person who was present as the moon child passed through so why didn't you kill Luana as well or did you think that she wasn't going to survive And see people's souls yeah she was the first to notice roses of approach but she can feel their pain as well and it allows you to heal the pain in people's hearts as a sacred sister of Mil Cecil. Well, Rose did say she'd meet up with us later. And Rose is just flat out saying that the knights, yeah, they're good, but uh, I'm better. Which, honestly, she is. <laughs> the home of Meru. Where have you put yourself now, Meru? Well, you are a boisterous lady, aren't you? If anything, it was probably a lot more dull. Um, that was a fireball. Raha. Apparently they know each other. Um Meru, you said 
you were coming home to see family. This is your home. This is a wingly that just floated down to you. So, this place is cut off from the rest of the world? Well, I guess they did, um, Garaha did call it a boundary that Meru came through. And we get to be Meru for a bit. Why is she... Uh, why is there a wingly? Why is this place cut off from the rest of the world? That's a whole lot of winglies. If this is your home, Meru, Pretty much everyone is a wingly. Does that make you one as well? The younger Barbell. And the older one. I guess there's still some prejudice happening. You seem a lot older than the rest that we've seen. Ancestor Blano. So when you left, you could never come back. hundred times bigger than the forest. Well, actually, it's quite a bit bigger than that, but uh, let's say that's the part that Meru's have seen so far. There are bad humans, but there are many good ones too. Ones that you've never met, and honestly, you haven't, since this place is completely sealed, um, yeah, you can't have met them you it's been 11,000 years some things may have changed the same um, some things may have stayed the same but many things have changed is it time to show yourselves that's a good question actually Especially considering there's people that hate and detest humans just because they are humans. Um, the two people right uh, to the right and left of Meru right now are two of them. Plus, it's not 
just prejudice on this side, it's on the other as well. Think about it. Wingleys are the you know, are the previous controllers of the world. Human prejudice of the Wingleys is going to be just as high. Those stories out there, Wingleys, aren't exactly there to comfort the humans if they reappear. Mary's mother and her father. Both Wingleys, which sort of answers the question about Meru, doesn't it? Even further than just being in a home of Meru, which is for Wingleys. Well, you wanted to come home and see your fa family, Meru. That hasn't exactly worked out for you, has it? Um, Garaha? Well, that's for sure. Everyone's feeling tense lately. The earth is surging. Said it's the omen of a dragon coming back to life. Ah. Um. We've had to deal with two already. But it's not one of the usual ones. Even the ancestors who had much stronger power couldn't defeat it. Wait, you're talking about ancestors as in... 11,000 years ago ancestors um, because they had a, enough magic to as, no, as it's been said have entire cities floating the king of dragons with seven magical eyes the Divine Dragon. Even Meru took a step back there. She's a Dragoon. Now, not that anyone knows it because she's holding that part back, which actually seems right in line with Meru right now. She's, she was holding the fact that she's a wingly from us, who are Dragoons. Now she's holding the fact back the fact that she's a Dragoon from the Wingleys, considering the history I can understand, but even she stepped back at the words Divine Dragon. The seal was half destroyed, that's why everyone is nervous. Dragon Buster and Dragon Block stuff, um, are you talking about the sword that 
Lloyd currently wields on that first one. It was here, but it was lost. So Lloyd has somehow gained access to it from here and stolen it. But then again, he has had um, help from a wingly in Lennis. So maybe she stole it for him. It was hidden with the staff in a place that only the ancestor could open. Really wanted to tell you something else. Oh. Gaha. Do you have feelings for Meru? Oh, she has friends. Actually, a lot more than you might think, Raha. And we're not talking about just Dark Shana, Rose. Hashel, Congal, and Albert. There's the people of, of Darnell. There's a whole lot more people out there that she's got to know, and they like her. About that the divine dragon. Um, yeah, that's it. We are. Go and when we have time, go visit Neat. Can't change the past, however, going and seeing what's over there is actually something we want to do because of a certain item. We have to wait for Rose and Meru. That's fine. Um, Dart. A little shiver. Huh. Well, 
start. Let's hope it's nothing too serious. Next time, let's have a look around a bit more. I believe we can actually go and speak to the people inside the palace now. Maybe. But uh, yeah, next time more of the legend of dragoon plot is being dumped on us thick and fast we know a little bit more about meru rose went to neat for some reason we know a little bit more oh, about a dragon that is becoming active Yeah, lots of things happening. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.